All right, Mr. Redneck Ricky, you have a request about the story, the real story of the American Civil War and why the South didn't win. If there was a war is the question. I think it was a big conspiracy by the North to come down here and steal all our money and just fake that there was a war. I don't believe it was a war. Ma, what you think? You, you think there was a bullet fired in the Civil War? Yes, it's in the history books. And who wrote the history books? I don't know, but I watched Gone with the Wind. That's what I'm talking about. People think Gone with the Wind is history. It's fiction. It wasn't nothing but a movie. But if they was a civil war, and if the South had a won, where do you think the stock market would be at? Oh, gosh. <laughs> what are you talking? What's the stock market got to do with the The stock war? market is all about the war. The war was about freeing the slaves, right? The stock market began, its foundation was money that the Yankees got from selling the slaves to the South. How do you... Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony Stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni I admit, she can sing good, but this ain't nothing to do with her singing. This is a documentary on what would have happened if the South had won the war. If there was a war. I'm not saying there was a war. I ain't saying there wasn't a war. I'm just saying if there was a war and the, so the and the South had a won, then the stock market would be in Atlanta. Because if the South had a won, we'd have made them Northern Yankees give us all our money back. That's all the war was about if there was a yeah. war. You, you got something to say, Mom? Dream on, dream on, dream until your dreams come true. Every time, look in the mirror. All these lies, my face getting clear. You know it's true. I'll tell you what's true. It's Sherman marched to Atlanta and burned all the states. <laughs> Sherman March through Atlanta. <laughs> You're lying about the Yankees and the stock market. <laughs> now I'm telling you, this is one of the hardest documentaries I've ever had to do. It's true. Sherman did march to Atlanta and burn Atlanta down. He burned. <laughs> Sherman marched through Atlanta and burned Atlanta down. Now y'all don't know who Sherman was. He was the big Yankee general that got credited for burning down every bus station from Atlanta to Savannah. Uh, we might have not had bus stations. But we didn't have buses. <laughs> I know that. What I'm saying, they were stage coaches. It was stage coach plantations and everything that Sherman burned to the ground. But it was all a conspiracy 
All he did was rob a bunch of banks and didn't even get charged for it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a big conspiracy. And he went on down to Savannah and burned all the shipyards where we have no ships to go to Africa to get no more slaves. That the rebels, if a rebel really is a rebel and a Yankee is a Yankee, only Jesus knows who is who. And only Jesus knows your heart. And the hatred that they carry about the way you say your words, like you can help it. I can't help, I'm here. And Jesus couldn't help it that he was born in Bethlehem and moved, moved to Nazareth. But what you talking about the way that you talk? I'm talking about 10, T-E-N, 10. And when I moved down here when I was 15, I've, I've lived over half my life down here, so I am the South. Whether people accept me or not, I am. But I why am why, am. why you get so upset when I say that the Yankees got all their money and started the stock market because they brought the slaves over here and sold them to the rebels? Um, I think that that was another time and decade and... Jesus knows the truth about everybody, and he loves everybody. But you know that we paid out our hard-earned money for the slaves, and we would have sold them back to the north, and they wouldn't have never been a war. You agree with that? Uh, the north's a long way from the south. 